Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to run ADB commands wirelessly. ADB is a powerful command prompt interface for Android, but it can be a bit of a pain having to always be tethered to your computer. And Android actually has some built-in functions that'll let you run ADB wirelessly, but these are a little hard to access. So developer Liam Williams created an app that will streamline the whole process for you. You'll need to be rooted to take advantage of this one, but if you need any help with that, just check out my full tutorial at the link in the description below. The app is called Network ADB, and you can find it for free on the Google Play Store. So search it by name to get it installed, then we'll check out the setup process. Now when you first run Network ADB, it'll ask for super user access. So tap Grant on this pop-up. Then you'll notice that the interface is nice and simple. There's only one button. So tap it, then wireless ADB will be enabled on your device. This is a running service, by the way, so you'll want to come back and hit this button again to disable it when you're done. But when you have wireless ADB enabled, the app will give you a command right here. It's basically the words ADB Connect, followed by your device's IP address and a port number. So keep that one on standby, and I'll show you how to use it on the computer. Okay, on the computer, just type the command that the app gave you. In my case, it's ADB Connect 192.168.1.9 5555. Shortly after you hit enter, you'll see a message telling you that you're connected. So type ADB devices to verify, and you should see your hardware ID. Now you can run any of these regular ADB commands, but there are no wires to get in your way. And for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. As always though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.